This is a reminder, this is for informational purposes only. Take this information to your healthcare provider and let your healthcare provider decide what is going to be the best course of action. Uh, also important to remind all of you that we are not making any medical recommendations. We are not suggesting that our products can be used to treat or cure any type of different health condition. Again, this information is for informational purposes only. Our patch products and our aromatherapy mists are general wellness products. <laughs> And I'm making sure that I'm staying hydrated because this is a long training session. Uh, so I'll take a, a sip here from time to time to stay hydrated. Okay, let's get into something a little bit more serious where conventional medicine would say their only solution is surgery. Well, my response would be if you've got a loss of cartilage, it, how did the cartilage get there in the first place? Your body made it, right? So shouldn't we have a way of repairing the cartilage? What's going on here? Let's take a look at this in more depth. And uh, today, it's irrefutable that stem cells can be used to make cartilage. That's already been proven in multiple studies. So we know that in the future, stem cell injections uh, will be a way for people to have a non-surgical means for regrowing cartilage. But if you've got this problem, what can you do today? A good place to start with this is, is this a medical condition? And uh, of course, I'm going to recommend that you talk to your doctor about this, your orthopedic surgeon or your natural health care provider, since I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, is it a medical condition? Is So, for example, is this a serious injury from playing a sport? Or is it part of the aging process? What's going on here? Well, some of the things you can talk to your doctor about is improving the stem cell activity in your body. A number of ways of doing that. Uh, for example, uh, you already know one. A uh, second one might be through hyperbaric oxygen. That will not reset the stem cells to a more youthful state, but what hyperbaric oxygen chambers do is increase the number of circulating stem cells. Um, we also want to manage inflammation. If you have a re reduction in cartilage, if you've got a lot of knee pain from this, you definitely have chronic elevated levels of inflammation. Got to get that under control. You also need to have uh, the correct type of protein to rebuild lost cartilage. And uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, using essential fatty acids is essential to the healing process, managing inflammation, getting those healthy fats, and then uh, supplementing in a few cases. And of course, making sure you've got proper hours of sleep, seven or eight hours of sleep per day to give your body the time to heal. Okay, so no surprise here that X39 is going to be one of the products that you're going to use. And um, you're going to be placing that either behind the neck or below the belly button. It does not need to go on the knee. And as a matter of fact, it's not preferable because you want glutathione and preferably glutathione and eon around the knee. Uh, we have found anecdotally that people get phenomenal results using eon and glutathione at the knee. The way that you do this is you place the eon patch on the inside of the knee and the glutathione patch on the outside of the knee so they're parallel to one another. This is gonna help to reduce inflammation restore range of motion, as well as some other benefits. Now, uh, I had met a number of years ago a doctor by the name of Bern Friedlander, and uh, he's a chiropractor who was working with the San Francisco 49ers, and simply by uh, elevating glutathione, vitamin C, and supplementing with collagen, in this case, it was a beef collagen from Argentina, 
uh, that he found that he could regrow cartilage. This was almost 20 years ago, a little bit less than that. So he found through his practical experience that what orthopedic surgeons were taught that you couldn't regrow cartilage, that it wasn't uh, true, wasn't accurate. So collagen supplement 10, 20 grams per day can help to uh, restore lost or damaged cartilage. Uh, you can also use a, a, a protein supplement called the master amino acid pattern. We don't have time to get into it here, but it's free form amino acids, including the branch chain amino acids. And uh, the protein synthesis on this combination is extraordinarily high. It's like 98 or 99%. This would compare to, um, let's say animal protein, that's maybe only 35% utilization. So you get a tremendous efficiency from using a master amino acid pattern. Now, if you've got a serious condition, uh, you're bone on bone, definitely you should talk to your doctor about uh, taking oral and IV vitamin C. So maybe you go to your doctor twice a week for two 10 gram you get a 10 gram IV of vitamin C twice per week. Vitamin C is linked in clinical studies to regrowing cartilage. Uh, it's a trigger for repairing damaged collagen structures in the body. So it's essential that you get a high dose of vitamin C in your diet, let's say at least a thousand milligrams once or twice or three times a day, along with IV. Uh, see what works for you. Um, definitely, I would take a copper supplement, 2.5 milligrams of copper glycinate once a day. If you're not getting enough copper in your diet, make sure that you have a cysteine in your diet. So if you're not um, getting enough eggs or dairy products in your diet, uh, take an NAC supplement. Uh, of course, we already talked about olive oil as a natural anti-inflammatory and curcumin. These can help to be part of managing the inflammatory process uh, and uh, providing healing. By the way, if you're bone on bone you have, or you have a significant loss of cartilage and you have chronic inflammation, the inflammation is destroying your stem cells. It's the inflammatory cytokines that attract stem cells to an injury. So if the antioxidant system in the body is compromised, you have a poor diet, you're not elevating your antioxidants, and the inflammation runs out of control, you're not going to heal. So you have to get your inflammation under control, and you do that with natural anti-inflammatories, and you do that by elevating your antioxidants. Now, when the inflammation comes down, the stem cells can get to the injury and do their job. And uh, stem cells will make collagen and stem cells will definitely make cartilage.